in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, usually, but I burn my hand. That's why no suit. Let's begin today's reaction. So we're actually like, like, how does it make sense that we're actually like going abroad to like, like the capture the powers when we're on the finale episode? How are we going to have a conclusion, a story that wraps up and, and continue on with the story? I know season two is never going to come, but like just thinking about this. So do you think the plane will just crash? <laughs> do you think it's just going to be plane crashes? Oh, it's over. No, there's no more happiness. Goodbye. Done. What I'll record from here on out. That's interesting because like it also says memories to come in the video file, but all right. We're at Singapore, huh? What's the purpose of your visit? Whoa, uh, that English is so good. Uh, okay. Okay. Tabio. He could speak Japanese. <sighs> I think we just got scammed. And these are personal data of potential people with powers? So it's a group, Singapore group of powers. Wait, what power lets him do that? Telepathy. He can like unlock the car from within. I never even thought about that application. I forgot. I, th I thought we were in Singapore. Are we in Singapore right now? I, I can't tell. Because then it's like this is urban Philippines. Now, my geography is absolute fucking trash. Southeast Asia, I have no knowledge of the geography. But is Singapore and Philippines close enough where it's like in walking distance with like a border? That was telekinesis. You know what I mean. I don't understand. We're in urban Philippines? But I thought we were in Singapore. I'm confused, but we're in the Philippines now. If you move, you fire. He's using Tomori's fucking little Duolingo flashcard on how to speak the local language. He's like, try to threaten. If you move, you die. Die. Kill. Kill bad. You fire. Okay. You are leader. You are leader? Who are you? Ability player. Huh? Unusual ability player. Uh, <laughs> this is hilarious. They're speaking like fluent English. And we're speaking broken English, but this is supposed to be... What language are we talking right now? Is this supposed to be Tagalog? I, I don't know what they're supposed to be saying. Oh, my ability. He stole my ability. That's right. Do you look unusual ability player? Unusual ability player. All right, let's go find Angelo. Oh. Was that like a miniature? There was a different power when we used to like, you know, um, break the glass for that girl. Oh, bald! What? What? Are you Angelo? Who are you? What do you, you want? Do not to use the ability. Huh? And? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so with the map? It just moves. His power is to see a map and red dots will move. Oh, okay. But does he know which powers? This is like exploration and weathering ways of Genshin Impact. Just going around with the fucking actual map website and just checking off different, you know, points of like discovery. It's like, all right, chest opened here, chest opened here. Mark it. Earlier this morning. No! Was that Takoto's power? I think it was. The UN chairman, Brian Jeffs. Love how he has to knock himself out at the very end, bro. He just has to fucking do this. Is it? I can't really tell. I was focused on the other shit going on. You know? Oh man, we are traveling across the- I thought we were still in Singapore. We just like went through every different region that quick, huh? Holy fuck, we're speed running this. Egypt. Recently, someone stealing the special ability of our members appears frequently in some parts of the world. If you find him, stop him by using all means necessary. Watch out for the one-eyed from- One-eyed Grim Reaper. 
Damn, we're called the one eye Chinigami. It's kind of oh, It's kind of cool. Ice powers. Cause like he had a mental image of the ice. Before he never really knew. He'd have to try to figure out what power it was. Plunder is evolving? Is that the implication right now? Because before we couldn't do it. Now we can after using plunder so many times. A wonderful snap. Are, are they actually gonna fucking power run this like going across the world to take people's powers back arc in like one episode? Can we act because like maybe we can have closure if you're going at this pace, bro? <laughs> power to worsen sickness? That's terrible power! There's a group of people, but only one shows up. That means that only one of the kids has the powers, then, right? What? Why do we get no power? Sickness. Oh, no, 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 the, 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 the power hasn't manifested yet. Obviously, there's people with like power that's still like, you know, about to develop or not. So red is like actual powers, I think. And then yellow is like kind of dormant. Can't plunder dormant powers. That's kind of annoying. And if he has a power to make sickness worse and assuming that this power what we have is a sickness can we not accelerate people's sickness and make the dormant power become you know out there that kind of makes sense right yeah there it is there it is easy easy let's go this is weird. I don't, I don't know how to feel about this. I hope it only brings out their powers. I thought something really bad might happen, but so far, everything seems normal, maintainable. We're in Eastern India now. Broken fucking fly. Barrier powers are always so fucking OP. Why are we crying? Oh, he's losing it. I, I think he's slowly losing it. I don't know. He's crying. I, I thought the mental state was good until now. Now he's kind of losing it. Rural Peru. That'd be so bad. <laughs> this didn't do anything? She didn't, what do you, what do you mean? Thank you. What do you she, she's even taking credit for it. She's even fucking tearing. What, what are you doing? You're like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. She's doing okay. okay. My, 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 my. I, I thought you did it. I, I thought you was looking at it. My bad, my bad, my bad. It makes sense why she took credit. I thought she was just rubbing his arm and you like healed it on its way. Never mind, never mind. That's fucked though. What about the people here now? What about the people here now? And like, they're gonna call her a fraud, like how I did in the beginning. And now they're all just gonna be sick. There's no doctor around. I guess that's... I guess for the greater good, sacrifices like this need to be made. Hmm? Yo! Do it! Nah, don't, don't give me hope. Nah, I, I'm just gonna assume that it's impossible. Don't give me fucking hope like this. Nah, 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 nah. This sounds way too fucking convenient. No. Uh, you could do it. Plus, we might start going blind pretty badly if we get caught up in that. And we really could have saved Poo there, man. He's losing it. He's fucking losing it. Collapse. This is gonna be bad, huh? Uh-oh. 
Nope. He is oh, not man, okay, bro. Are we gonna have like government, like military interference to take down you, and that's how the story's gonna fucking end? Like he just turns into a monster because he goes fucking insane, and we need like military forces to like take him down no matter what. Like we're going. This is a bad ending. <laughs> we're going back into villain arc a little bit, yeah, like episode seven. <laughs> Maybe if he just keeps listening to ZN songs, he can maintain his sanity. He what in a while? Oh yeah, because he hasn't even fucking slept, right? What's he taking? Melatonin? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Melatonin. Is this the rupture? Sorry, uh, collapse? I keep calling collapse fucking rupture, bro. Why the fuck is the Crimson Prince Ichijo getting in my head right now from Mahoka Season 1? 10 were killed in the attack and 20 more were injured. This is from the building stuff, huh? I think? No, it was other local terrorist kind of stuff. I don't think that was the building. Or maybe it was. Wait, 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 wait. Is that not the building that we fucking... It's a random report, right? This is not the building that we were at before, right? Organization of children that has played a large role in the fighting. So, the violence of the past year comes with the news that the organization, the children that has played a large role in the fighting, that. Okay, uh. Did we do this? The one eyed Shinigami is sleepwalking? He is? He did all this, but he forgot. He came back home, it's all dirty, he has no memories. Oh shit. We're cooked. But that's what happens if he sleeps. He goes in a crazy rampant attack, which I think is kind of heroic here. I, I think. Like, we took out a bunch of terrorist groups, but it's still uncontrolled, so this is super dangerous. But now, oh god, there's like, if we don't sleep, we go crazier and crazier. If we do sleep, we go out and do random attacks. <laughs> He's just sleeping! The barrier is up though, so it doesn't really matter. No one can really hurt him because it's OP barrier. No! That's Tomori's thing! <laughs> Tomori! That is a goal. Maybe he can maintain his sanity. Oh, we really going down the fucking bad route. Dude can't even fucking remember. I thought she might be the one thing that could keep him grounded so that he can return home. It's like the North Star that points, you know. It's just it's gone. Gone. Okay, well, I knew that this is gonna have a shitty fucking sad ending, but here we fucking go. We should have time leap, bro. We should have fucking time leaped. Holy shit, we're fucking speed running. Uh, is this the end? OP, bro. Looking like that dude from My Hero Academia. Now he has the power to like explode shit. What is that? The power to do parkour? The one-eyed ah, reaper! <laughs> He's even accept- Oh my god, oh my Oma, who are you? This business lady, oh my goodness. But the Shinigami, bro. <laughs> He's actually accepted the role, but before you like, this shit Chuni. Yeah, I am! Ah. Wall Street. Okay, we got lightning powers now. <laughs> he just kind of embraced it. It's having a Joker moment. Okay, Arizona. Does he even remember why he's even doing this? So by the time he's collected all the fucking dangerous powers, he's become a being that doesn't even know why he's doing this, and then he'll just snap and decide to just like fuck around, and it'll be like episode seven again. Just completely lost it. We're being the Dongo eating delinquent slayer all over again. But this time we have like every power. That's a cry for help. What is gonna save him? <laughs> no, 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 chill! You are kind of godlike now. 
<laughs> I mean, it, it kind of would be fun if you ignore all the fucking consequences that's kind of come with it, but we're doing that episode 7 shit again, bro. And like, he's gonna destroy the world until he's like 18 exactly, and the power is gone. That he's gonna be just put in jail forever, just locked up, maybe even death sentence. This is so bad. Now, Tomori again. He doesn't remember at all, right? No! See, if he didn't, like, what's the word? If he didn't plunder Tomori, then like, we could do the whole thing, same thing in episode 7, where Tomori like comes back and he was like, yep, I was invisible the entire time, I care about you. And then he's like, oh, my memories are coming back! And then we could go home and happily ever after or some shit. Fuck it, maybe we could even, you know, think about that time leap ability, right? We could maybe even time leap and redo this shit again, I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh wait! So he does remember still. Subconsciously, he does remember why it's valuable. But he doesn't know why. Bad endings happen. Blame the fucking author, bro. Can we have one fucking happy ending? Siberia. You're not cold? Guess he has a power to be warm. Cambodia. What kind of power is this? I thought this was a barrier for a second, but it doesn't even look like barriers up. It looks like the bullets like slowing down. And you can just like blow on something, it just disintegrates. <laughs> Power to make anything gold as well. He's got the Midas' touch. A research facility. Just like... Damn, bro looking like fucking Neo right here, bro. Oh my god, he pulled out a fucking Matrix. But this is actually good, because this must be like the research facility equivalent of what was happening to us. RPG! Fuck the kids, I guess. Barrier. Nah, nah, nah. We got a barrier. Don't worry about it. We have so many powers now. Australia. Was that teleport? Beijing. Skipped Australia. Yep, that kid definitely looks Chinese. Maybe he's so tired? Barrier. I thought the barrier was automatic. What the fuck? Now we can heal ourselves. Bro, you're not gonna go down to this random ass bandit. We That's a, it's a, a, thank, thank, thank you, but what the fuck? You're out of line. I ain't weak. Well, this girl seems super nice, though. He's gotta have stopped that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polykinesis. This is the final power? The final power is courage? It just makes you courageous. Like, personality. That is pretty useful, yeah. You know, no, no, no. I mean, it makes you, like, confident. But it might also lead into stupid situations like this where you could just fucking die. Blundered. Alright, now we have courage. So, with courage, do we have enough courage to hope again and then be sane? Is this the power that brings everything together or what? Her legs shaking. Nah, you should call an ambulance for the other guy though. Really done? And then now will give us the confession? Is that dude really just gonna let us go with the crossbow? Bro, are you serious? I said, what, what, what about the guy with the crossbow still? What are we doing? No shot, we get taken out by some random guy. Yeah! If you can fucking see, this is the last thing a blind person should be fucking doing, bro. Come on, man. A blind person should not be the person at the very edge of the fucking entrance when a helicopter descending saying, You come, come on. It's fine, it's fine, though. It's fine, though. No, 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 no. no. I, th I thought the ending was playing, it's over. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, we got a decent amount left, right? We got like four minutes left. Happy ending. He wakes up, my answer, and Tomori like, I love you. And then we're like, happy, happy. That's it? 
Is that it? That dude really almost took out the one eye Shinigami though with the crossbow. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> okay, what's my answer? <laughs> Ooh, no happy ending. Ooh, no happy ending. But maybe then the story will be them discovering each other once again and falling in love, right? Is that is that how it ends? Yeah, I'm surprised he actually didn't go insane. Wow! She actually admitted. I didn't think Nao really felt like that because she was also nonchalant about everything and really acts like she didn't really care. Even the moment that we confessed, she was like, huh? What the fuck are you talking about? But this is how she really felt. Though. I mean, she's been waiting all this time for the answer too, right? Damn. Does he forget about Ayumi? Wait, did he forget about Ayumi too? Like, what if a little sister shows up? Hi, Nano! And then it's like, who the fuck are you? Little sister dies of shock. He doesn't remember anything, huh? Yeah, because it was important. I gave it to you. Yeah, it was useful. Fucking threatening people, taking over their cars, and giving us, you know, in language. It was... I, I thought this was just language for Singapore. Right? This shit... Now that I really think about it, what was this? Because we went across the fucking globe. We went across like every fucking country. She did not have every fucking country lingo, you know, translation here. It was just for fucking Singapore, wasn't it? How does that work? Was that just basic English? Happy ending then? Happy tears. Oh, hand holding. Happy ending, guys. I. I got home, it says over here. Tadaima! Shun! Poo! I just can't stop it with the Shun blind jokes, but like... Could you imagine if the friends weren't here to tell him where Poo's, you know, gravestone was? That he might have actually went to the wrong gravestone and started like praying. It's like, oh, Kumagami! Kumagami, how could this happen? But it's like Kumagami's like three rows down. For all the blind jokes! Misa! Are we not gonna get Sala like explanation? Because I still don't know how her eyes went blind. Other than it's like the same thing with Shun's timely power. Because that shit was never really explained. And I thought we would return and Sara would like return to the story. And she'd have like a very important role. But like, nah, they just kind of skipped that backstory. I still don't really know how she went blind, but okay. <laughs> What did they say? This has truly been our Charlotte end episode. What what could he possibly say here? Something like something. This is truly our Charlotte, or like I don't know. I'm home. What's he gonna say? Hi. I'm excited for the future. <laughs> I'm excited for the future. Yeah, it all starts now. Season two. Season two. What? Hello. When was this anime aired? Hello. We're, we're, hello? So he has all the power still now, right? That sounds like a huge flag. That, my friends, is Charlotte. Honestly, pretty happy ending. And honestly, with this, season two doesn't really need to happen, right? Like, I think this pretty much concludes the story. Like, what could they really do? They could do, like, like, sh like, sh all the powers are located into, you know, uh, you. And in a couple of years, the power should go away. So all we have to do is just, like, just stay low and have a fun time and live out our high school lives. But, like, if they truly wanted to push it, they could have something like Shun, like, like you dies. And, like, by somehow, it's, it's like the great scattering. Like, like, like Dragon Balls, like, spreading across the world. So, like, shouldn't, like, somehow, like, you dies. And, like, all the powers get returned to random people across the world. And it's no longer limited to, like, people with puberty anymore. Like, if they really wanted to stretch the IP and continue with some kind of story, like, maybe that would be interesting. But, honestly, I don't think there needs to be a season two. I don't even know if there's, like, enough source material for season two. But, season one, it's, like, fully contained story. Episode 13. 
I think that's a pretty good damn anime, man. Now, in the beginning, this anime fucking baited us, right? This anime baited us so hard because I thought it was just going to be like a, a cool, fun anime where teenage high school kids has powers. And then episode two was like, hey, this is what happens to kids that has powers. Government science, experimentations. And it's like, oh, shit. And then it's been a little bit episodic of covering like, you know, not villain of the week, but like power of the week while kind of talking about some th some stuff handling on the side. The sister dying, bro. Holy shit. I thought Aimee was going to stay dead. But thank fucking God they reversed it. And thank God we actually got revenge on the girl as well that kind of threatened Aimee. I hope her hairstyle is still fucked up after we cut her bangs off. And then the story escalated with like the revelation of Shun time leap. What happened in the past? Our missing sibling has been, you know, making all this, you know, infrastructure along this behind the scenes to make sure that the powers could get stopped. And then, you know what I just realized? Nah, we gotta, we, I, I can't believe there's one part that's that, that we don't have closure on. Furuki, where the fuck is that motherfucker? I don't remember taking his power back. Bro, if we could have a scene where we take the motherfucker's power back, but also like admonish him and like punish him. Oh my God, bro. That would have been so fucking good, but what an L character. I actually the worst fucking character. I hope him and his family both just gets the worst in an anime. It, it's an anime we're talking about. Don't ban me YouTube, but that's it from me, man. It's a pretty good damn story. 13 episodes of peak. It was kind of sad, kind of happy, kind of dark. And then kind of happy again, but that'll do. And now moving forward, the series that'll replace this is going to be. What is it called again? Bastard Instructor? Akashic Records of like a mid instructor. That's right. That's what's going to be replacing this. So you guys can expect those uploads on YouTube. And we're probably going to start that on Twitch and Patreon pretty much tomorrow. So that's it from me. And until next time, take care.